Hey guys, welcome to Frank's Tech Help from beautiful Waikiki Beach here in Honolulu, Hawaii. Um, today we're going to be discussing a nice little trick that I learned in uh, Final Cut Express, uh, ghosting, or how to uh, create a ghost of yourself. Uh, let me play my little project here real quick and then I'll show you guys how to uh, actually create this. It's a very simple uh, little uh, trick to do here, so uh, let me play this here for you. All right, so there you have it. Um, nice little little trick. This is very simple to do. Um, I've already got my project built for it, but just for the sake of this video, I'm going to rebuild it for you guys real quick. Um, shouldn't take but a minute here. Let me resize some windows here so we can get some perspective on this. All right, so I've got my video clip, and what I've done is I walked into the room, fell down on the ground, laid there for a while, uh, waiting, 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 and then got up, and this is all done in one take, very quick, okay? So now that I've dumped my video into the timeline, I want to come in here and figure out exactly where it is that I walk into the room, which is going to be about right here somewhere. Let's go back a little bit further. Alright, so I'm going to take my razor tool, and I'm going to cut the video right there, and we do not need this front section. Um, actually, we do need this front front section. What I'm going to do, uh, because I want to put this at the end, at the end of the video, there's nothing. Uh, it's just me laying on the floor. And in order to get that fade out, where the ghost fades out and then the person, you know, the dead body fades out, um, in order to fade out at the end, I'm, I need a little bit of video footage here. So, let's see. Actually, that's looking pretty, pretty good right there. So, I'm going to size this down to that right there. I'm going to take this clip and drag it all the way. Well, I'm going to attempt to drag it all the way to the end of my video here. Here, let's just store it up here out of the way for a second. Anyway, alright, so... Alright, so here I am. I come walking into the room. Someone shot me, something pathetic. Anyway, this is my bad acting here. Overly dramatic. So we want to go ahead, keep going. I lay there for a while to give me some time to do the ghost effect. And as soon as I get up, I'm going to put in with my razor, I'm going to chop another cut point here. And that will be coming up about right here somewhere. Okay, boom, right there. So I'm going to stop. I'm going to roll back until I'm in my position right there. Okay, take my razor tool. I'm going to cut the video right there because I did all this in one take, and this is going to be an overlay. All right, so then um, what you want to do from here, uh, I live by my crop tool because you can drag and do all kinds of cool stuff with it. So I'm going to drag this clip that I made back up here, and what I need to do is find the point where I hit the floor, and uh, it should be here somewhere. Uh, it's going to be further back, so let me drag my clip over here so I can be close. Drag it back. Okay, right here, so here I come, boom, I hit the floor, and I'm out for the count. Okay, so this is pretty much where I want my next video to start. And as you can see, I'm getting back up there. This will be my ghost right here. And I'm looking, going to sit down. And then when I look up right there, okay, boom, right there, I'm going to take my razor. I want to make this my out point for this uh, segment. Go back to my crop tool. Now I can delete the remainder of this video because I no longer need it. Now, this clip up here 
with, um, now you can see the position I'm in, I'm laying on the floor. So what I want to do is I want to have the ghost fade out at the end, and then I want to have the dead body fade out the, at the end, and it's going to go just straight to nothing like this. Okay, but I don't want it to clip out like that. Okay, so I'm going to put a couple of transitions in here as well. Um, now, in order to achieve the ghost effect that we are looking for, this is very simple, you're going to select your secondary clip on your track 2, um, double click on it so that it comes up in this window right here. You're going to go up to motion, okay? You're going to select opacity, all right? Drag your opacity down to, I don't know, 25 or 30 percent. I'm going to go with 30 percent. Now, I know there's a much um, more technical way to do this to get a much better quality video. Um, but this is the easiest, quickest, simplest way that I've found. Um, all right, so now that I've got my opacity down, I want to come down here and check it out. Okay, so now you can see it's ghosting. Uh, my body's still laying on the floor. Now you'll notice, if you look at my body um, between the beginning, see how uh, vibrant and dark it is, but then with the opacity, see the opacity is bleeding through onto this clip as well. That's why I'm saying there's a better way to do this. Um, but this is just a quick, simple, um, you know, instructional video here. Okay, so now that we have the body getting up out of the dead body. Okay, so that looks good, but what I want to do is I want to put a little transition in here to mix that down a little bit. So under my video transitions, under dissolve, I'm choosing cross dissolve. I'm going to put this at the beginning of this video. Okay, so now when I go to play the end part, there's a very smooth transition there. I don't know how this will come through on a screen flow ca uh, capture, but anyway. All right, so then I want to go to my rear end section here. I want to drop another cross dissolve right here. And in order to get the body to disappear and have the plain carpet there, I'm going to put another cross dissolve. Um, well, it's not wanting to cooperate, let's see take my video back out there and put it in again. Now let's try. Put another cross dissolve in right here and let's see what it looks like. So the ghost fades out and then, oh no, wait, that transition was incorrect. Here, let me just undo. Okay, so there's something funky going on with my endpoint of my video. Let me adjust it slightly. All right, let's just go with that right there, and let's connect the video, and drag my cross dissolve there. Okay, now it's going. You got to make sure it goes onto both pieces of the video in order to fade properly or dissolve properly. So the ghost fades out, the body fades out, and there we are left with some carpet. All right, so there you have it. Pretty simple on the overall. Let's go for the intro and come in for the dramatic fall. And then we jump down here where my body is I'm having an outer body experience. And then we come down here to the end where the ghost fades out. And then the body fades out. And there you have it. Very simple, um, quick little um, nice effect there in Final Cut Pro. So uh, just a new trick that I learned today and I wanted to share it with you guys. So anyway, I hope this video helped you guys out. And uh, if you enjoyed it, if it helped you out, whatever, post a comment. Um, if not, Pogue Mahone, and as always, peace. Thank you.